All right. Are you are you set? I can't even I see you. Can, are you, are you, you in there? Me? Wait. <laughs> okay, that's that was better. This is, this is I feel I like I'm watching solution. the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know what's happening to you. I have a solution. I have a just. Oh no! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the intermission. Actually, no. Hello everyone, welcome to Advanced Shouting Presents the intermission alongside Joanna Forsyth. I am Dan Petru, uh, coming to you from New York City. As Joanna is coming to us from an Aboriginal cave in Australia. Um, but yes. if you can see her, uh, she will. She will shadow puppet. There we go. There she is. Yeah. We have proof of life. Um, so hello everyone. Welcome to our first show of 2023. I'm not going to say Happy New Year's because it's already. January fourteenth, and that's that's way too long. But and I then by just, the time by the time this airs, it'll be like February. February so. seventeenth. <laughs> so we're we just uh, and I just turned on Siri, so I'm not doing that. Um, but we were we're hoping your uh, 2023 is going well. Uh, and we are back. Uh, Alicia is on assignment at a shower, a wedding shower, or a baby shower. I don't know. Bridal shower. Bridal shower. Yeah. yeah. Do you have those down there? Yes. Are they? Well, <laughs> Are they are they torturous? Uh, I personally am not a fan of being yeah. in a room with a lot of women. <laughs> um, it's too much of a taco fest for me, but you know. <laughs> and we are off the rails. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it was just you know, I you know, it's, who who do I talk to hockey about in those in those? It's a fair question. Groups. Who do I talk to gaming about in those groups? So it's, right. Hmm. Well, there might be other women that have those that have share those interests. Rarely, okay. rarely. All right. Usually, I have to find them on the internet. You have to go find women on the internet. Yeah, that's that it. Sounds weird. It does, but yeah. you know. All right, so we're getting back in the groove. We we are we are back after um, uh, a little bit of time off and me catching every germ in the world. Um, but I'm almost yeah, I would say I'm pretty much 100 percent or as much as a, a person of my age can be. I'm always a little tired and slightly, you know, slightly sick. So I guess this is what your mid forties is uh, is gonna be. You know, you can expect to have. I think it's less about being in your forties and more about being a dad. Uh, yeah, yeah, always <laughs> tired and, and has <laughs> always tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So CDC C- C- seems to just be bringing home every germ in the world, and uh, COVID's actually kind of running rampant right now around here. So mm, here as well. Uh, it's yeah, yeah. I think it's the new strains that are doing it. So yeah, but yeah. um, yeah. Other than that, we uh we had a good holidays, and uh you know we're back at it, here to provide uh minutes of entertainment for dozens of people. That, yeah, for the for Connie. Yeah, the show is for Connie. <laughs> yeah, it's just for Connie. <laughs> okay, um, so, uh, yes. Go ahead. No, you. No, no. Oh, I was gonna say, no. Alicia sent you some food that you for you to try. Yes. So um. I sent her for Halloween some just Australian snacks. Um, but... um, I have a question. I did not receive any of those. I know. Yours is packing. Yours is packaging. Like, Because I've got stuff for CC in there as well. And I keep telling Amy, I'm like, it's coming. I've just got to fill it more. Gotcha. So, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm just I, I just... I, if there's snacks, no, no, it's I want to try them. It's coming. It's. I promise you they're coming. They're just okay. I'm okay. putting stuff together. Um okay. So, I, <laughs> I haven't forgotten you. Don't worry. Um, Alicia sent me a box full of snacks. So she sent me some Starbursts, which are gone now because we can't get them in Australia anymore. Um, have you had the, those before? We have. They were kind of a staple. Like I grew okay. up with them, but All then right. there was a supplier issue and we just can't get them. Um, so she sent me some goldfish, which okay. Sean, Sean has already been into and I've – had a couple already okay. but I, I'll can't remember what they taste like um she got me some Cheez-Its similar don't know to what, goldfish don't know what they are but looking forward similar to that goldfish, she, I prefer I prefer the Cheez-Its the white cheddar Cheez-Its those things are cool and what else do you have okay. and some flaming hot Cheetos those will leave an impression I, I, well I have 
I have some water nearby. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Just, just in case. So right, let's, um, let's, start, let's start with the goldfish. Okay, the goldfish. I love how they come in a little milk carton. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I've got some ASMR going. It's, it tastes like a cheese cracker. Yeah. They kind of remind me of Ritz crackers. Okay. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Mm, a little bit, but they're a little bit more salty. Mm -hmm. They mm. have all different flavors. They have like pizza ones and pretzel ones. These are, these are the cheddar ones. I love okay, his. I love his salt. little. I love yeah. his little hair, his little comb over. Does the goldfish have a name? I don't think so. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they're a solid They're a solid snack. They're, you know, good for parties and stuff. Okay. Now let's and go to the, dive into the Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its, hold on. Get I think Cheez-Its are better. Oh, sorry. It's <laughs> no, a weird thing. That's weird. Okay. No else. They're more cheesy. Right. But it tastes almost like parmesan cheese. Okay. Like it feels like they're using parmesan rather than cheddar. Parmesan no? cheese for those in the States. Because mm. <laughs> there's, there's a J in, in that. No, it's Italian word. It's not like we Americanized it. No, no. I'm not saying. I'm just saying... There's a G in it. It's not, you know. Enough stuff. These are gonna be these are gonna be interesting. This will be interesting to see your reaction to this. All right. All right. I don't understand the fetish with that. What what is the big deal about? Okay. Wow. They're like pink. They're red. Yeah, because they're really hot. Okay. I'm gonna go for a small. Not one. really hot. They're hot. I won't say they're really hot. Okay, here we go. Those are amazing. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Mm-hmm. At Taco cool. Bell here, they have um, they have those wrapped in a burrito. Oh. Yeah, they're good. Oh. I know. I'm glad they I punch, only had one. Yep, yep, they punch you in the back of the throat there. Oh. It, they taste great, but oh, God, do they... Oh. Yep. They leave a mark. They leave a mark. And, but you they know, are I good. Love... They are very good. They are very good. Oh. <laughs> I should have brought milk to the table. I When you showed the water on my head, I'm like, you might want some milk. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Your face right now is hilarious. <laughs> it's the afterburn. It's sure. the afterburn. It feels like I've just had, like... Like tequila straight from the bottle. <laughs> it's oh, oh, they're delicious, but oh boy, you just had oh. one. I know. It's hilarious. I'm just gonna put those over there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> they're surprisingly hot. Oh my god. Yep. So I love them. Okay. Good. But my mouth. But my mouth doesn't. Yeah, you've actually now, now torched, you torched your taste buds. Now, you mentioned Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. And I had Taco Bell for the first time. The other yeah, day. you had Australian Taco Bell, but I don't know if that counts. Um, I'm, I'm assuming I don't it's know. different. I'm assuming I it's different. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a fan. Well, what did you have? Um, I had a burrito. What kind? Uh, a steak. Beef? Yeah, it's a already a mistake. Steak. Already a mistake. What what should I have ever done? What you sh what? you should have a chili cheese burrito. Okay, chili cheese burrito. Got yeah. Um. Yep, that's the first thing you should have. 
But what surprised me, they throw in extra tacos. What do you mean they throw in extra tacos? So I got a burrito, Sean got something else. Yeah. And then they, they were like, here, have four tacos. Yeah, that doesn't happen around here. Unless it's a mistake. Like, I, I was like, I don't want four tacos. <laughs> I just want a burrito. Um, their, their chicken quesadillas are very good. Okay, I'll try the, the chili the, chi- the, 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 the gordita crunch. Oh, no. Um, the uh, What's it called? Hold on. I'll look it up. But I, I just... Maybe because I got it by Uber Eats, it it mm-hmm. you know it might they, not have traveled well. That's a good point. And yeah, it it. Um, uh, you want to get the cheesy, be... yeah, the cheesy gordita crunch. That that's that's pretty fantastic. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Those are um... the things I definitely would recommend. But the chili cheese burrito is the. Mwah. I'm sorry, I'm still recovering from. <laughs> One. Cheeto is train wreck the show. No, I just it's yeah. It feels like my mouth after I've just like downed a bottle of tequila or something, and it's oh, just, nice. <gasps> <gasps> um, not that is I there an, is there an alcohol that's like native to Australia, like you know tequila is Mexico or vodka is Eastern European, yes, gin, gin British. What what would that be? Uh beer. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's weird because there's kind of like beers for each region. So if you go to, if you go to Queensland, there's like 4X gold. That's the main beer there. Um, it's just like a mid strength kind of thing. If you come to Victoria, Victoria Bitter is kind of VB, that type of thing. If you go over to South Australia, there's like Cooper's Ale. Um, and then like, um, Western Australia has a whole bunch of up along, up along, up and down the coast have their own set of breweries as well. So, um, yeah, but th- we we've also got like a lot of distilleries are popping up now, and yeah. so they'll use a lot of native ingredients to like create a gin or create a um, a, a vodka or something. So um, interesting. Yeah, I was yeah. just wondering because you know, like some some countries are known for a specific type of alcohol. I never really knew. <laughs> Beer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> oh, but we do we do have some really good wine regions as well. So. Oh yeah, I've had Australian. I've had some Australian wine that's absolutely fantastic. What did you have? I don't remember, but it was absolutely fantastic. It was probably Yellowtail. You no, probably had Yellowtail. Yellow, no, no, I've had Yellowtail. I would not consider that. I would not consider that. That's like you know, fast food wine. It is. I. Yeah. We- if you can <laughs> unscrew was- it, and, you know, there's no cork involved. Uh, when I was in the states, I um I went and oh I should turn the island game off since you can see it behind me. We could. I was just about to turn it on. Flag. <laughs> we get flag. Oh, the island just scored. Let me just see the replay here. Oh, All right, we're gonna get flagged on YouTube for this. But if it's only okay, there we go. All right. It's oh, on. Detroit's playing right now. Oh, yeah. sorry. Um, anyway, yeah, Yellowtail is no. It, it's a perfectly fine five dollar bottle of wine. But yeah, but see, I've the had thing good, is, I've had good Australian wine. See, the thing is, though, when I was in the States last, it a, a bottle of Yellowtail cost like $40. Where? Um, I was in San Diego. No, no. Yellow, you can yeah, yellowtail, it, for like nine, you can yellowtail for like nine bucks. I know, but it was $40. Is it like, uh, was and, it like a giant bottle? Like No, it was just a standard bottle of like Shiraz or something. And it wasn't no, even. Yeah, maybe. I, I, was, I don't know. That's pretty I common. Was, that's just yeah, com- uh, yellowtail is just common. Bring to someone's house. Bring to someone's house for like a girls' night out kind of thing. Get drunk, drunk on cheap wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the, yeah. it's the um, green bag we call it. You have green bags? No, I have no idea what that is. Box wine. Oh, box wine. Yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, that, yeah, of course. yeah, of course. Yeah. Ah, oh, speaking of alcohol, though, how do you play beer pong? Oh, okay. So you um you set up red solo cups. And yep. to like a triangle. Yeah. Um, so it's one cup, two cups, three cups. Like and, a, yeah. yeah. So and then we're each at a side of a table. And then you have ping pong balls. And you have to throw them into the cup. And when it goes into the cup, the people you're playing against have to drink what's in the cup. You fill it with like that much beer. Oh, right. And if, how you, do you, bounce it, if you bounce it in, they have to drink two cups. Um, the first team to get 
all the other person's cups out wins. And then the wow. people who lose have to drink all the beer that's remaining. That, that seems like a pretty good lose, though, if you're at a party. Yeah, I'll, we can play when you come. Well, if there's play two bars <laughs> at beer okay. pong tournaments, yeah, we can go play on a, a Thursday night or something. <laughs> you, play, you, and, you and CC can be a team. Yeah, we'll play with we'll play with grape juice. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that's too much sugar for her. No, she'll be up all night. <laughs> okay. she, I'd I'll, rather I'll... her drink. I would rather her drink beer right now than freaking sugar. That's true. That is yeah. true. I'm. Um, oh my god. Sorry, it's still burning in the back of my mouth. How? I don't know. Like I could. Okay. It, it's well. It's not burning. It's tingling. So um, I'm trying to put. It... I'm just gonna give up. I was trying to have the, the hockey on this screen and it's not happening for me. So um, don't worry. Um, yeah. So, Cece, what yeah. what did she get for Christmas? Uh, she got a lot of clothes. Um, she got some new toys. She has this like little piano that uh, that, that counts up and teaches her like the alphabet. But it also has these cute little modes where if you put it on duck mode, all the keys sound like a duck quacking. And if you put it on cow mode, all the keys sound like a – it just sounds like a cow mooing. Hilarious. Um, nice. What else has she got? Uh, some books and then some interactive books where you press different things and it, it tells you about – one was like all transportation, all different like things that you can ride or, or things like that. And it has plays of fun songs. So. I've I've got some books for her. I think I've already sent you pictures of them. So um, one's learning how to count, but using um, things in Melbourne. Okay. So it's like it's like there's one tram, there's two, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you know, it's kind of adorable. And then um, I got her this little. It's when she's older. It's this little um, kind of comic book. Oh, cute. About about traveling across Australia. So. Oh, that sounds cute. Yeah, it's adorable. Um, but yeah, so there are stuff coming. There's stuff coming. Okay. I just, you know. Do you have, do you have like nice trains? Do you have like high speed trains? I'll show you. No, we don't. Okay. We don't have high speed trains, but we have nice public transport. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you'd have some kind of high speed to get from different major? Yeah. Cities? No, we don't. We don't. I mean, if there is, uh, I think right. there was like a one of the political candidates here was pushing for a high speed rail or something. Especially but, with most of your country being a desert, it's probably you know you have room yeah. to build it. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, but no, no, okay. we just fly. We just fly everywhere. Um, now, Connie had. <laughs> we should just change the. <laughs> we should just change the title of this show. Advanced Shouting presents the intermission for Connie. <laughs> for Connie. <laughs> for Connie. Um, so she had some questions about hockey. Okay. That you that you're going to answer for us. Sure, let's do it. So the first question was. Um, what's a hat trick in hockey uh, terms? Three goals in one game. Three goals? Is yep. there a version where it's like you get an assist, you get a, a goal? Oh, yeah. A, you... Gord a Gordie Howe hat trick is a, a goal and assist in a fight. That's a Gordie Howe hat trick. Like, I yeah. did not know that. That's, <laughs> that's so cool. Um, sorry, I just I had the questions and now they're gone. Um, one of them was, can you explain icing? Okay, so if you are going to give up possession of the puck, i.e. if you're going to dump the puck into the opponent's uh, end, um, you have to gain center ice first. You have to cross the red line before you can do that. Um, that rule was put in so you couldn't just kill time if you're winning. You couldn't just throw the puck down the other end. Every time you got it, you have to skate out. You have to get the center ice, have to cross the red line, then you can dump the puck in to either change or, or forecheck, whatever you want to do. However, if it does get in, though, if you get it in the goal, it's not icing if you put it in the goal, right? Oh, no, no, no. It's not icing if it's on that side. <laughs> I didn't quite understand that. Um, but no, if, yeah, if, if, you, if, you, if you dump the puck in from anywhere and it's on goal, it's not icing. It's just like, do, wait, do I, do I not understand how hockey works? Um, and another question that she has was, um, what's the difference between the goalies with the orange armbands? You mean the officials? The, yes. 
So sorry, the uh, goalies, the the refs, the refs. The, uh, yeah. So the ones that wear the orange armbands are your actual referees. The ones who do not are your linesmen. Your linesmen are in charge of calling offsides and are also in charge of breaking up fights and assisting referees on any kind of plays that they might have missed. Uh, the ones who wear the orange armbands are the, your referees. They're the only uh, ones who can call penalties during a game. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for that. I didn't even notice, to be honest. I knew the headlines, people, because it reminds me of the tennis. Um, there was one more, right? Uh, shift light, shift light, maybe? Oh, shift time. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, usually 30 to 45 seconds. Uh, your lungs tell you when it's time to change, because um, usually you have no air in them after about 30 seconds of actual playing time. Uh, not because uh, like, there could be stoppages and whistles, but 30 to 45 seconds of usually beginning of the game 45 seconds later in the game 30 seconds um depending on situations um of actual game clock time is usually your show. and also depending on on your position as well mm -hmm. yep. yeah a lot of time, a lot of times during a power play too the first unit will get a full minute um uh, but, uh, but it depends on the situation hmm. cool Great. Hey, you, you do get tired much easier playing defense than you do playing offense for some reason. I don't know. Backwards. It it's yeah. backwards. But when you're, backwards when, you're, is... when you're playing defense, you get exhausted. When you're playing offense, you always seem to have energy. So. Ah, uh, it's weird. See, it's weird. I defense. I'm, I'm, there's a lot of me to kind of get around. So, uh, <laughs> plus, plus I'm violent as well. That I, I used to, do, I, I used to do martial arts. So I'm just like straight in there, man. <laughs> Um, yeah, so thanks. Thanks for that little hockey 101. Yeah, well, if, you have any, if, if anybody else has any more questions, or Connie, if you have more questions, just hit us up in the uh, in the chat and we will answer them each week. Yeah, and if you want to, if you guys want to know anything in general about yeah. life, if you have any life questions, you need advice, I'm sure right? You can... Questions about Australia, questions about New York City. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Speaking of, um, what things should I know when I'm coming over? Such as? So, you know, because pretend I've never been there before. We don't have to take our shoes off at the airport. Obviously, I'm going to have to take my shoes off at the airport. We do, um, yes. How do I hail a cab? Things use, that I, I, would, I would use Uber or Lyft. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. You're also um, going to be with me most of the time as well. So I can help. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I'd be like, Dan, can you just ask for a tipping? What's the rule with tipping? We tip all, yep. yeah, 20, usually most places, 20% minimum. I thought it was 10%. No, you're cheap if you do 10%. Oh. Don't be cheap. Okay. I know, like in Australia, right? Your your prices are big. You, you're, you're, you're the people who work in food service actually make much better money. So there's no yep. tipping, right? No, I okay. mean they're intro they're introducing it now in restaurants is kind of like a, you know, if you had really great service you can, but it's not really. So around here, unfortunately, the in the in the food service industry, uh, the employees are paid a very base minimum, uh, very small hourly salary, and they are really dependent on tips. But those tips okay. are tax free for them. So if they're in a good place where people do well, tip well, you can really, you, you can really make a nice. I know some people who make really. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll pull some down some good money, a uh, yearly salary. Uh, that's tax free tip. That's pretty good. I, I feel like I should come over there and just be that that Australian at like a restaurant. She's like, oh, well, we, have, we have that. We have that sleepy drunken koala right near us in Astoria. So oh, there. yeah. I, I do. I do want to go to the drunken koala. The sleepy koala. Like, that's what it's called. G'day, sleepy fellas. Koala. The tipsy koala. Tipsy, the tipsy koala. koala. That's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, g'day, fellas. Do I get mates rights? Yeah. Ripper. Sorry. I have no idea what you just said. Do, do I get a discount? Ah, okay. Good sure. <laughs> yeah, good on you. <laughs> I don't is the hey, is the piano plugged in yet? It is. Can you play? Sure. Okay, let's hear something before we leave everyone. I I told you I was gonna ask you every week until you did it. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right. There you go. There was a C major scale for you. What the hell was that? <laughs> it's plugged into my headphones. 
Got ya. I live in an apartment no. <laughs> complex. It's nine something in the morning there, right? Nine thirty. Eleven thirty. Oh Jesus! It's eleven thirty. You can play a couple bars. No, you know what I'm playing at the moment is atonal, and it sounds horrible. You won't That's like it. Okay. It's it's for an exam. I'm like me. Okay. I'm not gonna do it. It's awful. Um, I'll send you. I'll send you a link to the recording to someone else Great. playing it much much better than I can. Well, I want to see you play. I don't give a shit about anybody else. No, nah, no. Nah. Also, I, I realized as I was plugging it in and I was practicing, I was like, my keyboard's not big enough for the song. <laughs> so, so I'm like, oh okay, well, I'm gonna have to get a new keyboard. Right. No. Absolutely. Tough luck. Tough luck. Yeah. What did you get for Christmas? Uh, not much. Um, I got um. What did I get for Christmas? Like some gift cards. Yeah, uh, gift cards are always good. Yeah, yeah, gift well, cards. What are... Yeah, everybody pretty much got me gift cards. Um, I you know I don't need anything. Did you speak more cheeses? Uh, no, I don't what really did you? Need what did you get, Amy? Uh, we really didn't do. We really didn't exchange. Uh, we don't really uh, for for Christmas. We'd rather mm. save that money and go on vacation at some point later in the year or something yeah. like that. Yeah. That's that's so what she wanted. Well, her her birthday is a uh, her birthday is Jan was January sixth, so I did get her uh, a bracelet. Happy birthday, Amy! So, yeah, I did get her a bracelet from from Fig and Cece. From Fig and Cece, I'm <laughs> still waiting Cece. for them. Waiting for them How to much... pay me back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a co covering the cost. <laughs> that's right. Well, Cece's got plenty of money. She's got more money than us. But Fig, she she, uh, she doesn't. Yeah. Well, she hasn't she hasn't been counted debt yet, so she's financially she's better off than the two of you. That's right. <laughs> I love it. All right, well this was fun. Was it? Was it? No, no, it was. It was. Well at least she should be back next week and the <laughs> the three amigos will be back. Alrighty, cool. Let's All right. st start starting the year strong with this one.